What's up you guys? This is Chris from Flip Houses Part-Time. Uh, today I'm going to be making a quick video on how to pull expired listings using PropStream. PropStream is a phenomenally powerful tool. In my opinion, the most powerful tool available to real estate professionals today. So whether you are a wholesaler, fix and flipper, buy and hold, real estate agent, uh, um, I am all of those. Um, it can be probably the most powerful tool available today to get cash buyers, to get motivated sellers uh, from vacants, pre foreclosures, properties with liens, uh, a whole lot of different uh, niches that you can narrow down. Uh, so today I'm going to be showing expired. Uh, PropStream is a very in-depth tool and there's not a whole lot of training out there. So what I did is I put together a free Facebook group called PropStream Mastermind. It's facebook.com slash PropStream Mastermind. There's also a link in the description and in the comments. Uh, please jump in, join. It's free. Join the conversation. Um, you know, let's talk about how we're using it and, you know, we can all get better at this tool as well. Um, so also affiliate alert. There is a seven day free trial link in the description. Um, you know, if you don't have it, jump in, test it out for seven days. Give it a try. There's no obligation. So let's jump into this video right now. So here I am in, uh, just when you enter prop stream. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to look for expireds in my city in general. So I'm going to pull up Fresno. So once you search your county, city, zip code, whatever you want to do, you can go over here to filter, list type. I'm not going to do list type. Just for today, I'm going to be looking at single family homes. MLS status, no. You see this on market? No. I don't want things that are relisted. This is if I'm going after, if I'm going after expired listings that have not been relisted and have not sold. And so I'm going to show you how we narrow that down as well. So here on MLS status, we're going to do fail. All right. So fail is expired, cancel and withdrawn or temporarily hold. Listing amount. I don't care. Listing date. I'm going to go from you know, earlier this month to, let's just say a year out from, from today. So we'll, we'll just go to October 1st, even though it's the 22nd. All right. I don't care about listing amount. You might, you might want that. I don't ownership info, years of ownership, uh, minimum of two years. And again, this is just personal preference. Um, if they owned it for the last two years, I know it hasn't sold. So what I don't want is somebody that expired six months ago, but then five months, uh, you know, five months ago they sold. I want them to still own the property today. I don't care about lien value trends. I don't care about this for expired equity percentage. Now the equity percentage will depend on really your strategy. As an agent, I know someone who has 10% or more of equity. I can take advantage of that opportunity and still list their property. Uh, you know, for someone who, whose property is worth a hundred thousand, but they owe 90, but maybe they just want out of the property as a wholesaler or fix and flipper. There's really nothing I can do with that. But as an agent, I can go in and I can list their property for market value and still earn a commission. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to look at it as if I'm looking to wholesale or fix and flip. So I'm going to do 30% or more equity. And again, this is just based off of a, a computer generated value, like, like any other company. So, um, you know, 30%, it might be plus or minus for whatever algorithm they use. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to show 30%. And I'm going to hit apply. I don't care if it's owner occupied or not. See here, you can choose owner occupied or not. Um, I don't care. Again, single family residence, MLS, fail, listing date from basically the last year. Currently not on the market. Ownership info, two or more years. You can do one or more, 10 or more, whatever you want. Equity, again, for this video, I'm doing 30% to max would be 100%. So I apply and boom, here you have, oh, it looks like I need to update my, uh, my Dropbox with my most recent debit card that just came in the mail. But I don't know how to click. Yeah, I just got a new debit card and have not updated that. But here, here you have your results. Right, you could look these up. You can see the last sale date. All right, so somebody bought it 
We'll just pull it up and see what this looks like. Wow. Okay, so they bought this house in 2017 for $220,000. And here it is already going to auction. Notice of trustee sale for almost $340,000. Interesting. All right, you can go over to transaction history here. See, they bought it here. We got some mortgages. All right, so you can look at the individual properties, or if you select, I like to select all, add to list. Here, I'm going to create a new list. Um, Fresno expires. Whatever, whatever you want to name it, you'll save it. I'm not going to save it, just just for the sake of the video. And there you have a um, very easy way to find expired listings through PropStream. Um, it's a very powerful tool. If you don't have it, get it. Again, in the description, there's a seven-day free trial. Get it today. Also, uh, jump into our free Facebook group. You know, let's start a conversation. Um, I'm, I'm trying to learn this better. I want you to learn it better and um, invite your friends to it. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe. I'm going to be doing more videos, not just on PropStream, but really how we're flipping houses using no money, how we're wholesaling houses, how we're pulling 15, 20, 30, $50,000 wholesale fees um, in, in realistically a $200,000 market, right? We're not in a $700,000, $800,000 market. So um, like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any comments, questions, please drop a comment. I will do my best to answer. And until next time, take care.